Hi you guys, it is your girl Janae with Janae's Gems here. And today I wanted to go ahead and explore the etc. part of this page. And so I figured we can do that by having a live um, cooking demonstration, right? So tonight I am going to be cooking some macaroni and cheese and I guess I thought it would be nice to have you guys with me, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting um, my little sprucing up of halved macaroni and cheese, okay? So the way that I'm going to be sprucing this up is kind of comical actually. Um, this is the cheese packet that goes in there. I have my oven um, preheating because I'm going to bake it and I have my water already boiling, okay? So, well, my water is almost coming to a complete boil. Um, so what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to spruce up the Kraft macaroni and cheese, okay? And so the first step to sprucing up the Kraft macaroni and cheese is, of course, getting the cheese packet um, out of the box and throwing it away. Step one done, throwing it away. So let me um, pan the camera over so that you guys can start seeing what I'm doing now instead of seeing my face, okay? So, hopefully you guys can see that. I'm gonna bring that over here. So what I'm gonna be doing is my water is starting to boil. So I'm going to go ahead and put the noodles. That's all I need. And the, the way that all of this came about actually, guys, is I forgot that I had, I didn't have any um, <laughs> elbow macaroni. So I figured I'll just use the shit in the box because I don't cook this anyway. Um, and my son doesn't eat it. So whatever. Um, I have a trash bag, regular old shopping bag that I keep up here to keep my trash in. So without further ado, let's go ahead and make our cheese sauce now that we have preheated the oven and we have put our noodles into the water so let's go ahead and make our cheese sauce okay so um again the box is very small it's like um it's one fourth a cup of noodles so therefore we're not going to need a whole bunch of cheese sauce so i'm going to take a fourth cup of milk and this is one percent milk I'm going to take a fourth cup of sour cream. And what I'm doing now is just, just going to mix all of my liquids together. Get it all out. I have condensed milk. And I'm going to use this entire small can. It's only um, five ounces. You're supposed to have six, but five will do. So I'm going to... Get that poured up in there. And guys, I've shaken this before I started, so make sure you shake it well. It also says shake well on the top of the can, so make sure you shake that up real good. All right, so after that, gotta keep a clean area. After that, we're gonna go ahead and put just one egg. It calls for three when you're making the, um, when you're making the larger scale recipe, but since I'm not, I'm only gonna use one egg. And I'm going to go ahead and take my, um, take this out. And I'm going to use my whisk. Okay. Whisking all of that together. And this is gonna be the base for my cheese sauce, guys. Okay. I would also highly encourage you guys to invest in getting some white pepper because you're gonna season this and it just looks aesthetically pleasing when it has white pepper in it instead of black pepper. 
black pepper has a little speck well you can see little specks of black pepper in it and sometimes it just I don't know it just looks a little aesthetically more pleasing when you're dealing with white um, pa uh, pepper so the noodles are um, cooking up very nicely I am stirring it up to make sure it doesn't stick at the bottom I also put salt in the water um, just to help it with the boiling and things like that you know you know how you do you know how you do and since it's a small thing. This is probably going to end up being too big anyway. I just washed it. And, um, it's probably going to end up being too big. Now, you're supposed to use butter. But I know you guys see me working my tail off all the time. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Pam instead of butter. I just want to cut down on the fat. So, I'm just going to spray that nicely around the sides. And on the bottom, just to make sure that I can um, ensure that nothing sticks. Okay, still got the little price tag on it. I've had this for years. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside. And now, essentially, all I'm really waiting for is my noodles to cook up. And so while that's doing that, I guess I can show you guys the um, cheeses that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using shark cheddar. I'm going to be using Colby Jack. And I'm also going to be using mild cheddar, okay? And so I'm going to be using a fourth cup of each of these cheeses inside of the um, macaroni and cheese. And then I'm going to top it off with some of the mild cheddar. That's why I have a whole pound of mild cheddar. I actually have a whole pound of um, mild cheddar and sharp cheddar because um, I made a couple pans of macaroni and cheese in June. Oh, not in June. Yeah, a few pans of macaroni and cheese in June and I still had cheese left over. So we're going to cook our noodles. And guys, the noodles are not going to look like your standard elbow macaroni noodles because they're small so they're not gonna look the the noodles in the um craft macaroni cheese box are definitely a lot smaller than the noodles that you would regular the regular elbow macaroni and cheese noodles that you would um normally put into your baked macaroni dish so don't look for the noodles to plump up as much as they would with the um regular elbow macaroni because it's just not going to happen so um I, what i'm going to do is i'm going to continue to keep an eye out on the noodles and make sure that um it doesn't stick to the bottom and that i don't overcook them because remember we're going to bake them as well so i don't want super super duper soft noodles because then it makes for mushy macaroni and cheese and i'm not feeling that so um but what we can also do is, well, no, I was going to say you guys can be here with me while I make my collards, but I kind of need to clean them first and I don't want to put y'all through all that. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go ahead and what I'm going to also do to test to see if it's done is I'm going to, um, taste the noodles. That's done. Okay, so let me put the camera back so we can see what we're doing, right? Okay, so I'm going to, and I hope you guys can hear me when I'm over there. So what I'm gonna do is the noodles are done. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take the noodles out of the water and strain it. So I um no y'all don't want to see that. <laughs> 
Okay, cut the water off, I mean, cut the stove off. So we're gonna go ahead and dump our noodles into our baking pan, pot, dish, whatever you'd like to call it. <laughs> and so what I'm gonna do now is I would usually, um, if we weren't eating healthy like we do, I would usually um, put little pieces of um, butter in here. But again, I said we're trying to cut down on our fat and everything, so we're gonna skip the butter part. It's still, it's not gonna lack any any seasonings or anything like that, except we're just cutting down the fat by um, excluding butter. So I'm just gonna put just a little bit of salt in here. Like I said, it doesn't need too much. And we're gonna go in with our white pepper. Oop, there we go, our white pepper, okay? Not too much of that as well. And then we are going to mix in our cheese sauce, or our base of our cheese sauce, should I say. Our liquids. I'm gonna mix that in real good so that the seasonings can mix in. Oops, sorry. So that the seasonings can mix in with the, see that fly? <laughs> that noodle, the noodles just flew. It's only three of them though. <laughs> that was funny. Anyway, um, I'll of course clean that up later. Um, so we have our base of our cheese sauce, our liquids in here. And so what we're gonna do now is we are going to had to wash this this is what I had the um, sour cream in so this is a fourth cup measure and so what we're gonna do is we're going to put a fourth cup of each of the cheeses in here now I'm gonna do it over the dish pan because I don't really care if mo you know if you see the you know what I mean I don't give a I don't care. So <laughs> that's our sharp cheddar. Ooh. That was a little too much, but boom. <laughs> boom. Kobe Jack cheddar. Or Kobe Jack cheese, should I say? I'm sorry. This is brand new, so I'm going to have to open this one up. Our little pieces of fresh. And this is our regular mild cheddar, okay? Regular mild cheddar. Try not to make a mess. Boom. And I'm gonna set my mild cheddar not too far. This is the spoon that I use to mix my noodles. So I'm just gonna mix that up real good, guys. Mix that up. So my cheeses can get in there real good. And I usually also put, um, I cut up Velveeta cheese and put it in there. And um, I use a couple different other cheeses and stuff. But again, this is a small batch. It's not anything, you know, that I'm doing for a cookout or an outing or anything. It's just for dinners tonight. So, um, yeah, so... I don't need a whole bunch of cheese and things like that. Okay. So this looks pretty good. It's pretty good to me. Smooth it out. I'm so used to seeing more cheese. I need to add more cheese. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not going to add any more cozy, but I'm going to add some more sharp. Cause it just don't look cheesy enough to me, y'all. Oh, it's some more uh, mild cheddar. It just didn't look cheesy enough, y'all. Like, uh <laughs> Let me stop. Okay, so that's looking much better to me. So, what I'm going to do is. Sure, I mix it. I'm trying to get this cheese from clumping together. All right, so what I'm gonna do is 
smooth it out. And I'm just going to add mild cheddar to the mix, to the top, okay? Like such. And just spread that around, y'all. Look how good that look, oh, look how good that look, y'all. Oh, oh. All right, guys. So, we're gonna pop this bad boy in the oven. Um, I've had the top for a I'm gonna put the top over it and we're gonna hop this bad boy in the oven for about I'm gonna play it close but for about 35 to 45 minutes and then I will show you guys a picture of the final results so thank you guys so much for joining me in my little sprucing up of um, my macaroni cheese, the craft macaroni and cheese which really I forgot my I didn't have elbow elbow noodles that's all it is so i just decided to go ahead and go live and do something a little fun now this isn't the like i said this isn't necessarily the recipe that i use when i um cook for large groups of people i usually add more cheese and different things like that to it but i figured that this will be a little fun first live on this channel so i am so glad you guys um tuned in to watch and i hope you guys enjoyed i will be doing more lives like this trying to get a little more comfortable in front of the camera and trying to get a little more comfortable doing things like this um so bear with me with time and practice i'll get better but thank you guys again so much for joining me and i really appreciate you guys' company thank you guys see you later